Zibber Liquids is a tool for real-time liquid simulation that can be used for creating different types of game mechanics. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use it to create a quest with interactive liquid that can be easily be used in casual games. Let's begin. First, focus on the environment you will need for the scene and create a bush system. To do this, create a bush system object in hierarchy. Then, add a bush mesh inside the bush system. Create a berries object inside the bush system and add berries to it. Add a zebra liquid void inside bush system. Void removes water and counts the number of removed particles. When a certain amount of particles gets removed by the void, the bush starts to grow. Now, add a script with bush growing logic to bush object and set it up. If you want to implement plant growing mechanics in your game you can read the number of deleted particles from the zebra liquid void object. Or you can download the script we are using here in the video description. Add a zebra liquid object to the scene and set it up. Then add a reflection probe. Check how it works. Create a prefab from the bush system object. Now let's deal with the rest of the process and finish the scene we need for our gameplay. Add all the environment assets to the scene. You can find the links in the description. Set up and edit the environment to your liking. Arrange the rocks to create a waterfall in the mountains. You can use a reference to make it easier, we used a picture of a real waterfall in Las Pedrotas in Mexico. Use terrain brushes to create a garden where bushes will grow. Now add a bushes prefab to the scene. After you finish the preparation of the scene, create the zebra liquid. To do this, create and place a zebra liquid object where you want the liquid to be. To achieve the maximum quality, you want the liquid simulation volume to be as small as possible while covering every place you want your liquid to be. Place an emitter between the rocks to create a water source. After that, create a reflection probe. Note that it shouldn't be too big, but has to reflect some of the details of the environment. The center of the reflection probe should be under the pond. Add Neural Colliders to the rocks. The Neural Collider is an AI-powered tool that allows you to set up liquid interaction with any complex object just in a few clicks. You can find a detailed video about Neural Colliders on our channel. Use some simple cube analytical colliders to create a track along which our water will flow. Then add the void above the water, so it won't spill from the pond. You can also add voids outside the area where the water flows, so if it spills out, the voids would destroy the particles.
set up a zipper liquid object, add colliders and manipulators, then set up the grid and the max particles, add a reflection probe, and set up the materials, you can get a preset of our material at our Discord. Launch the simulation and check out how it works. After all of it is done, it's time to add a character controller and create a DAM mechanic. Get the first person controller from the Unity Asset Store. Add a script that allows the character to control the stones. You can find the one we are using in the video description. Then add stones to the scene, and use them to build a dam. Add neural colliders, rigid body and mesh collider for the stones. Don't forget to add stones to the colliders list in the zipper liquid object. It's ready. Launch the simulation and check out how it works.